Hey guys, happy Friday. <laughs> Jeez, B, you can't let me nail. Just watch your hair. Uh, it's Callie from Love Cooks. I hope you're doing great. I hope you've had um, a interesting start to your, to your day. I'll say interesting because that's kind of a fun word. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the word joy this month for some reason, so I hope also your day's been full of joy and puppies like doodles. Joy of my heart. Um, yes, you guys. Okay, so this week's recipe slash ingredient is beluga lentils. You're probably looking at this video going, beluga lentils, what in the hay is that? Well, let me tell you. Okay, so beluga is a type of black lentil that is called beluga because it reminds people of caviar with the way it looks. And when you cook up beluga lentils, you'll actually see that um, once you cook the water out of them, they do look kind of shiny and black like caviar. Now, if you're like me, I don't really have the budget to eat caviar on a daily, weekly, or even monthly basis. So, uh, as part of this week's focus of using up some random ingredients I have left over from food styling shoots and in my pantry, uh, this is one of those. So, this week's recipe is from Bone Appetit Magazine, which I adore. They're doing so much cool stuff right now, y'all. If you have ever um, thought to yourself, hey, I might like to learn more about cooking, I might like to kind of see what's cool in the food, Scene. Bone Appetit is a great magazine for that, and I feel like lately um, their graphic design is spot on. They're using all these fun colors and textures. One of their favorite issues of all that I have during the year is the January issue, and it's like normally called like a healthy-ish focus, which is neat because they take um, some ingredients that you may not normally use, or they look at food trends and develop some pretty like slamming recipes that are healthy-ish, which I dig. Uh, the um, recipe I make this week is from Bon Appetit. It is a spiced uh, beluga lentil with uh, yogurt, and we put a little olive oil and fresh oregano on it. So it's super yummy. Um, and a few fun facts about beluga lentils. Like I said, they remind people of caviar in their appearance. That's why um, they're called that. They also are a great type of lentil to put in appetizers um, because they have a really great texture to them, whereas some lentils, like in Indian cooking, can kind of be smushed or a little bit softer, which is delicious, a little creamier. Belugas tend to hold up their texture as you're cooking them, so that's pretty sweet. And um, a tip on cooking belugas, you want to make sure you give enough time to, until they soften. This week's recipe really probably took me about 50 minutes, honestly, to get them to the texture I want. Wanted. Um, but typically you're going to want to um, do a one to two ratio. Actually, it's more like one half to two of beluga to liquid water, you know, chicken stock. That's what we use in this week's recipe. Um, bring them to a boil, reduce them to a simmer for about, mm, I would say 30 minutes. <laughs> Respond to that noise. That's weird. Sorry. I need to make noises on camera, bigs. Edit simmer, and then um, maybe make sure that the top to your pan is sort of slightly uh, askew, so a little bit steam can get out, and then they'll be ready to go. And yeah, this week's recipe: we have mustard seeds, we have cumin, we have coriander, all those yummy spices, um, lots of salt and pepper, really make them taste pretty cinnamon. So yeah, beluga lentils. Um, that's this week's ingredient. And um, they're super, super uh, fun and different and a great way to kind of maybe surprise someone who's vegan or vegetarian and come and eat at your house. It's a cool way to love on them because it's sort of an unexpected um, protein slash, I guess, is it a leg legume? I need to ask my friend Mallory. I don't really know. I should have researched that before I said it. So yeah, that's Billy Lentils. That's this week's recipe, Spice Billy Lentils with yogurt and olive oil and oregano. Thank you Bon Appetit for an amazing recipe. Really, it's super yummy. Hey you guys, thanks for checking out this video. Thanks for learning about beluga lentils with me, a few fun facts. And yeah, you can see the full post on lovecooks.com. I'll point like this, I'll put the link once I figure out how to do this in iMovie uh, for my uh, full vlog post, which will be up. Hope that you um, have a great day. I hope you're gonna eat something fun. I hope you're gonna have a food adventure of some sort and that your moments are filled with joy and happiness and much love. So from my home to yours, mwah, love cooks and happy lentils.